Good morning everybody, or whatever time it is you're listening to it, or watching this video. Richard here, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you on my iPad screen my favorite way to back up my photos when I am on holiday or traveling or away from the house for longer than a couple of days when there's a risk that something might happen. Hey, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Richard here. Um, for those of you that might be new here, the channel's all about videos about photography, about Lightroom. Um, there's gonna be more videos about travel coming up and things like that and what I do, what photos I take, stuff like that. But today's video is all about making sure all those photos that you take are safe and secure and backed up so when you're away for a long time, you know that when you get home, you've got a number of different options to put your photos onto your computer, whether it be from the memory card or a hard drive or whatever. Um, I did a previous video about my sort of four or five different ways that you could back up photos, but now I'm gonna go into detail in my favorite version or in my favorite method that I use or that I'm gonna use. I've used this once or twice before, but this is the first real big holiday that we've had that's like nearly three weeks long in the summer. So I'm making sure that I've covered all my bases and I'm not gonna lose any photos. So let's jump right into it. This is gonna be all about how I back up my photos using a portable hard drive. So we are gonna go straight into the iPad and I'll record the iPad screen and you can see exactly what I'm doing and how I do it. Really, really simple. Let's have a look. Okay, so here's the iPad. Um, let me show you real quick with a quick overview um, of what I've got. So you can see here that we've got a iPad and into the iPad we have plugged in a USB hub. On the side of the USB hub there is space for an SD card to go in as well. And here you can see we have the portable hard drive. This is a SanDisk one terabyte extreme um, SSD, which I think is better for moving around and chucking in and out of bags and stuff than a normal hard drive. So we basically got, as I've said, we've got the USB hub here and in the USB hub we have the two um, things that like I said, the SD card and the SanDisk. We're now going to have a look at the, onto the iPad. And on the iPad we are using the Files app. So if you open the Files app you can see down the left hand side here that we have EOS Digital, which is the memory card or the um, the SD card, and we have Extreme SSD, which is the hard drive. Now, when I go away for holidays, or well, certainly what I'm gonna do on this trip is I'm gonna set up a folder per day. So if I go into the EOS Digital and into there, we can see that I have, as a test, I've set up these eight folders. The first three digits of the folder name, which I don't think we can change when you set them up in the camera, but within the camera, or certainly on the Canon R6, you can rename folders. So I am using the first two digits as the month and the second two digits as the day. So the first one, ignoring the folder number is 0106, which means it's January the 6th. And then when I set up a new folder, all I have to do is change a six to a seven or the seven to eight. But before I go, I am gonna make sure that I have done all that already. So I don't have to worry about doing that or forget to do that while I am on holiday. So there's only photos in one of these folders and they're ones that I've just copied in there from my computer to do this video with. Um, and I tap in here and you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight photos. Um, just photos that I've taken around the office purely for the purpose of this video. We're going to the hard disk drive now. To make sure that the SSD is set up simply as well, I've got a folder on the SSD called holiday backups and I've got a folder called USA 2024 Rockies Road Trip, which is currently empty. Um, so all I'm gonna do is go back to the hard drive into the memory folder and I'm gonna tap and hold and click on copy or tap on copy. I'm then gonna go to the SSD, I'm gonna go into holiday backups, I'm gonna go to USA 2024 Road Trip, I'm gonna tap and hold, I'm gonna click on paste there is only eight photos in there. It's gonna take seconds. Um, if there was 100 photos in there, it will take minutes, but you can see that we've now got those eight photos on there. If we go back to the SSD, uh, sorry, if we go back to the uh, SD card, 
they're still there. The eight photos are still there. The thumbnails aren't coming up on here for some reason. Maybe it's just a read speed or something of the card. I'm not sure. But they're there. There's the eight and the eight are on the SSD. If you don't set up the, the bay folders, you could have them all in one folder, of course. But that would mean that when you're backing up, you would have to highlight each. So, that, so let's say you're doing Monday. Right, there's Monday's photos. Copy and paste those. And then on Tuesday you would have to highlight Tuesdays and copy and paste those and so on. Folder per day, make sure you're in the right folder in the morning and you just have to copy that one folder. Lucky enough to have the cam the R6 has two uh, memory card slots, which means that I have now got three backups because I'm recording with the same photo to each card. So when I press the shutter, it goes to card A and card B. I will then just take out card A, copy them to the hard drive at the end of the day, meaning I have got card A, card B, and a hard drive. I've got three backups, two which will stay in the camera all the time. One will be in a bag, tucked away safely with a passport or um, my socks. And no one's gonna go looking for my hard drive in my socks. Well, if they do, they deserve to get the hard drive. So that is basically it, <laughs> really simple. It's not difficult. Links for these things will be down below. iPad, and this will probably work on a phone as well. I haven't tested it on a phone because I haven't got the right connector. My phone still takes the lightning connector. So this is a USB-C connector here. I'm pretty sure this will work on a phone as well. And the iPad is just being used as a, as a conduit to get the photos from the card reader onto the hard drive. So that was it. Real speedy one today. I hope you found that useful. Um, solid way to back up your photos while you're traveling. If you found that useful, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, stick around for more photos about photography, Lightroom, cameras, editing, uh, photo, travel photography, that kind of thing, and I'll see you in the next video.